A couple hundred urban daisies gathered in New York City last week to listen to some good music at BB King's in Times Square. Headliners included Raghav and Mickey Singh, who performed some of their best-known singles all on one stage. It was two days of entertainment with concert and conference bundled in for the South Asian diaspora. The Urban Daisy Conference and like the concert, just an amazing concept to have, especially for the artists that are, you know, kind of like doing stuff here in North America. Just like, you know, us and like just the newcomers or anybody that wants to do something in the industry, I think it's going to be great for all of them and for us to kind of take from, from that energy. So I'm super excited for it. from a conference like this? I mean, I don't really go into any show or any conference with a, a preconceived notion of how it's going to turn out. But if I had to set a goal, uh, I would hope that it would motivate others who are talented and serious about being in music to be part of the industry and see that there's a lot of careers other than just being a singer-songwriter. And uh, people who are not serious about it, who are in it for the wrong reasons that they maybe decide it's not for them. motivates you, what keeps you going? I mean, I love music. There's nothing else in the world I have ever wanted to do. So for me, it's about innovating sounds, trying to come up with new ways of fusing sounds together, new concepts, and taking risk. This is the first of its many kind of conferences. Are you excited? Very excited. This is really good for North America, something like this has never been done before. And it's just great to see everybody just come together and be a part of this. I think it's a really, really good event for uh, upcoming artists. Uh, for, me, for me personally, uh, it's just nice to see all my friends, like artists that I've worked with, people that, that I know that I don't get to see that often. It's nice that we've got like a two day kind of thing where we can, you know, catch up with each other and just have a bit of fun basically. I tell you how she's honest. She could break your heart, but she'll never break a promise. Queen, talk to me about it. How do you come up with this concept? Um, yeah, I mean that concept was just it was just came out of one of those those one of the first sessions that we had. It was just an idea that we kind of put together, and it's had a great response. So I'm grateful for that. I think this is the first time for everyone that, you know, I've collaborated with, I think, most of the artists on the thing. So um, for me, it's just like, I can't believe we're here all together and we're going to like, you know, we're going to get to show the unity that North America is strong and we're here to stay. <laughs> We just released a, a single a couple days ago called Longwacha. I will be performing that um, tomorrow for the first time. And uh, obviously my other Pangra singles, so we're going to do a lot of Pangra on stage. What can we expect from you tomorrow night? Tomorrow night is going to be fun. There's going to be a lot of collabos on the stage. Uh, me and Rackstar are performing our new song, Signs, for the first time. So that's going to be fun. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of new songs as well. Maybe some of the songs from the album. Songs. <laughs> you have some advice for other young artists that are up and coming? Uh, just just want to say, like, stay dedicated, make good music. 
make good content and you know like it'll spread and definitely stay humble and like stay positive I think that's the best way to do it. I think the secret is just to be great at what you do and uh, make music uh, that is something you can relate to. Try not to cater to what others expect you to be but try and just be yourself.